He seems pretty solid. He seems he pretty seem, solid. He didn't seem like a loose cannon. You know? So I, I'm thinking it was owed to him, something that belongs to him. to him or something that was owed to him that he sent them So maybe the they collect. were supposed to bring it back to him by a certain time that's and they what I'm, didn't yeah, that's type what of situation. I'm but he ultimately, he made the final call saying kill him. Right. Because they, they didn't have to kill him no, technically. They, they could have just took it. Right. But I think he might have made the call saying, hey, they was playing with me too much. And this is kind of like, you know, just to show the streets that you can't play with Marcellus like that because uh, they went up there and got it. They got it done. And what was funny <laughs> about that scene was that um, Samuel Jackson, he had this long dialogue, but he ended up eating the guy a burger. Yeah. And drinking his soda. soda. <laughs> like, it's so disrespectful. The whole point, the whole time, you know, you're getting ready to kill this guy, but you're going to eat his burger. Right. His final meal. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and drink his final soda. I mean, down to the last slurp. You can, that. Hear it. you can hear it. He took everything out of there. <laughs> right. And and Vince is in the background, just like he don't care about none of this mm-hmm. stuff. He was like, Vince, have you ever eaten that big kahuna? No, nope. I don't even eat that. I don't eat that nope. stuff. <laughs> he just like, where's the suitcase at? Right. <laughs> he just came here for what he came in there for. But it also it 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 lets you know from the very beginning that is uh, kind of childish and goofy as Samuel Jackson's character and Vince's character is how they make jokes and stuff like mm-hmm. that. They're about their business. They are. You know, they they might joke around, but they wasn't playing when they walked in that in that in that uh, apartment. They came there to do something, and they did it. Amongst everything else, they even gave the guy Samuel even gave the guy a sermon mm-hmm. <laughs> before he most, shot him. It's my gave favorite him a part long of the movie. Sermon. <laughs> I will strike down upon yeah. me. That's my. That's See, my I'm glad favorite, you remember my it. favorite scene in the movie. <laughs> I was like, oh, I think he' about to shoot him. Like. <laughs> He's talking like he's getting ready to shoot that guy. Mm-hmm. And I think that guy knew it. But I'm wondering, because the guy on the couch, uh, Jules only shot him once mm-hmm. and kind of dismissed him. But that guy in the chair, mm-hmm. they both shot him a lot. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking, was he the target and everybody else was casualties of war? They put a lot of bullets in that guy in the seat. And it was like more of a personal. It might have. It feels like Marcellus might have been like, make sure you make an example of him. You know what I'm saying? It just felt more personal with the guy in the chair. I could have than that. the guy on the couch. Yeah, I could have <laughs> that takeaway. I think I think the flock of seagulls, right? That's what he calls them. You yeah. over there, the flock of seagulls. Um, I think the guy on the couch, it was more so about where is it? I'm asking you where it is. You're delaying it. You're acting like you don't know. And it's like, boom, we're going to use you as a warning to let everybody else in the room because ro- they shoot him first. Yeah, they so we're letting you know he's dead. Y'all see, we're not playing. We're here to get the suitcase. But I think it's the fact that the man sitting in the chair, Brett, Brett. shoots at Samuel. No, he's no. You he, talking about the guy that came out? He's yeah. in the chair, but that delayed reaction in him not listening to what they were saying and kind of pushing back on what they came there for results in somebody coming out from the back and firing all these shots. Right. You're right, though. I do think because he was a main target and they end up taking Marvin in the car, remember? So they don't kill Marvin mm-hmm. intentionally, at least, right? Kind of running, kind of wondering what's the motivation behind that. Oh, yeah. We're going to get to that. We're going to get um, to Marvin. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's plausible. Maybe Brett was the intended target. Maybe Brett is the person responsible for um, returning the suitcase yeah. or giving whatever was in it, essentially, especially because they were talking to him in the room the most. Yeah. Uh, trying to get him to they cough up the on information. Him. That's true. Yeah, they focused on point. him. So I was thinking like, Maybe he was the actual target, target. and the, the friend might have just been here on the fluke. Yeah. <laughs> he might have just been collateral eating breakfast damage. there. It's collateral damage. That's why <laughs> your parents always said, be careful who you hang That's with. That's true. Right. <laughs> they can get you in a whole lot of trouble. So they end up leaving there. And well, let's get to, let's get to this part. Mm-hmm. Marvin was actually uh, in cahoots with Vince. Mm -hmm. He was Vince's friend and he's the one who actually set up that whole situation. Mm -hmm. So Marvin wasn't as innocent as he looked Mm -hmm. in the initial whole plot of that apartment. Mm -hmm. It's like, he was sitting there scared and shaking. No, dude, you set all this up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Like, you set it all up. You don't find that out till later, Mm -hmm. but it's kind of it's kind of good that you, I'm not good, but it's kind (laughs) of, well, it is kind of good that you see, you see that in the end, they didn't just shoot Marvin because he's a witness. Right. They could have just, you know, yeah, hey, shot him on the scene. Just shot right. him. Like, we can't leave no witness. Mm-hmm. Even if he's a part of the plan, mm-hmm. 
he got to go. Mm-hmm. They was like, come on, you come with us. So that was kind of cool. I, you know, I guess they showed him some love by <laughs> by taking him with them. In the end, they, he really didn't get no love. <laughs> so they shot him in the face. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, but in the apartment, they open up the suitcase. Uh-huh. And here we go with this glow. Mm-hmm. In your opinion, what do you think was in the damn suitcase? I don't know. <laughs> and why was it shining? Do you think it was gold bars? Because what was this? gold glow about yeah i don't i don't know what the glow was about (laughs) um i think the glow symbolizes that there was something valuable in it and something that was when we think of a shine right you open up anything uh you know you open up a window and there's you know the sun shining you open up a a ring box and you know you've got the, the lights on the box right it's i think that it's a symbolization of like something valuable inside or something something worth something looking at inside. I don't know what was in the suitcase. I don't even know what would fit in the suitcase that would make it that important that all those people would die over it. But I assume (laughs) whatever it is was something of great value. It was something of great value. And I don't think they ever talked about what was actually in the suitcase, correct? He looks at it and it's the look that he gives. It yeah. lets me know I think it's a tangible, it's something tangible okay. because he doesn't just open it. It's If it's a piece of paper, you know, you're not going to, yeah. I don't know, you have that kind of reaction to it, right? But